Hi guys, welcome back. Dharma and Jarell here with more reactions to Dark. We're on season three, episode three. Now, um, the first couple of episodes have been pretty overwhelming, confusing, a lot of information to digest, and an entirely new world. And we've met the alternate martyr and the old martyr. Mo uh, Jonas here now is beginning to see what the world would look like without him in it because here Mikkel never went back so uh, we've also met this guy back in 1888 back on our world where uh, what was his name Tanhouse Tan Tan looks as though this was the um, origins of Sigmundus Creators I'm not saying it goes all, you know, that's as far as it goes back. I think it goes way further back than yeah, that I because do. of the ancient building and everything underground that we've seen. But we're seeing where all of this stems from and where it consumed Adam, in effect, how yeah. he got involved and everything with it. But there, there is so much going on at the moment. I don't want to make any judgments or any... Um, I don't know, premonitions as to what I think is going to happen because with this show, 90% of the time, you're going to be wrong. Yeah, we have been <laughs> so, so far. We have been so far. So I think we're just going to carry on with it. Let it tell us. So I'll sit back, relax, and we will watch episode three. This was the Lieblingsstück deiner Mutter. There he is, yeah. Heute Abend sicher gerne mit uns gekommen, in der Gleitung eines so vornehmen jungen Mannes. Sie sind vielleicht nicht hier und jetzt, aber alles, was gelebt hat, lebt auf ewig fort. Wer ist da? Wer sind Sie? Ich, ich verstehe nicht. Oh doch, das tun Sie. Sie fahren in die Stadt, um ein Telegramm aufzusetzen, weil Sie der Welt von uns erzählen wollen. Sie sind ein What of who? Ja. Ein Reisender. Well, we know that. Haben Sie meinen Vater für verrückt erklärt? Die Welt muss erfahren, dass es sie gibt. Was wir wissen, ist ein Tropfen. In the ocean. Was wir nicht wissen. Ja. Yeah. There we go. Just like Yoda. What is this here? Eine Kopie meiner Welt? Du und ich. Adam und Eva. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Das ist es, was wir sind. Ja. Yeah. Ein Fehler in der Matrix. Du willst wissen, warum du hier bist. Um sie zu retten. Deine Welt. Und meine. Das sind seine Sachen. Das sind Matt's Sachen. Als mein Bruder verschwunden ist. Da haben nicht so ziemlich jeden Fehler gemacht, den man sich vorstellen kann. Actually, they didn't, but you don't know that. Der Mittler war ein versoffener Vollidiot. Nope. No, he wasn't. Ich habe mir geschworen, dass ich das alles anders mache. Und jetzt betrüge ich die Frau. Ich habe die Frau betrogen. Sorry. Der verfickte Apparat ist leer. Du hast keine Ahnung, wie dieser ganze Scheiß hier funktioniert. Du hast nur gelogen. Du wusstest, was passiert. Und du hast uns nichts erzählt. Sag mal, kapierst du denn nicht, dass sie dich nur benutzt? Sag ihnen, wer Martha wirklich getötet hat. Sag es ihm! Oh. I love a good fight in the rain. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna win. He's got like 20 years on you, bro. Yeah, huh? Du hast 
hast ihn mir gegeben. Du und ich. Schwarz und weiß. Licht und Schatten. Wenn du willst, dass deine Mutter lebt, dann musst du dich für die Seite des Lichts oh, here we go again. Und du musst mich zu dem machen, was ich heute... And how the hell is she supposed to know how to do that? Wir sind in dem Bunker und der Bunker war leer. Da war niemand. True. Und dann war da dieses Licht. Und dann ist... Was an der Wald, da war Körper runtergefallen. Hast du jetzt einen auf besorgten Vater, oder was? Du interessierst dich doch sonst auch einen Scheißdreck für uns. Es ist genauso, wie wir es gesagt haben. Da war dieses Geräusch, es kam aus den Höhen oder aus der Erde oder keine Ahnung. Und dann sind wir in den Bunker und dann war da erst nichts und dann lag der da. Ich habe viel Zeit dafür gebraucht. Ist das, was es ist? Ich denke, so. Verstehen, dass du deine Vergangenheit nicht gehen lassen kannst. Dass du dich immer für sie, für deine Macht entscheiden wirst. Und so wie du deine Vergangenheit nicht loslassen kannst, habe ich mein Leben lang an meiner festgehalten. Du musst ihr zeigen, wie alles zusammenhängt. Dir bleibt nicht viel Zeit. Sie muss ihre Zukunft sehen, um zu verstehen, was getan werden muss. Du hast gesagt, ich war in deiner Welt. Bei dir. Warum kann ich mich da nicht daran erinnern? Ich weiß es nicht. I don't understand that. No, I don't. Der Vater vom alten Tarnhaus. Er hat versucht, jemanden von den Toten zurückzuholen. Seine Frau. Oh. Ah. That's where you want time travel. Ich glaube, dass die Möglichkeit, durch die Zeit zu reisen, die Erlösung der Welt bedeutet. He thought it worked that Jeder way too. Jeder kann verhindert werden, bevor er überhaupt entsteht. Aber es bringt keine Erlösung. No. Nur Verdammnis. Ich weiß, du denkst, du kannst mir nicht trauen. Ich will dir beweisen, dass du es kannst. There's the device anyway. You know this show loves to do this. Oh, it's not shiny anymore. Das ist die letzte, die ich habe. The pocket watch. I see how she's the light. So he's just brought all this back from his visit with them. Ja. Du ihm sagen können, auf welchen Weg du ihn schickst. Er wird nie aufhören zu versuchen, diesen Kreislauf zu durchbrechen. Er wird nie verstehen, dass wir den Knoten erhalten müssen. Dass seine Mutter sterben muss, damit alle anderen leben. Der Anfang und das Ende. Call my memory, didn't she find this last time? Und er hier. Ich möchte dir ein Geschäft vorschlagen. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ich habe etwas, das dir gehört. Destroy all work again. <laughs> ich möchte es dir zurückgeben. Nothing so obvious. I said it would There be sharp go. this time. I got something right. Alles verliert. Alles. Das ist Helges. Den habe ich im Bunker gefunden. Ja. Yeah. Das, das kann nicht sein. Er war die ganze Nacht bei uns. Ja, ich komme sofort. Er hat ein Geständnis abgelegt. What? Ich habe never make it stick. She's... What? She's going off thinking he did it 33 years ago. Woher hast du seine Sache? Was hast hey. du mit Mats gemacht? Was hast du mit ihm gemacht? Du lebst. Was? Du bist es gewesen. Was du nicht gewesen? Was mich? Er war's. Was redest du da? Er war's. <lacht> Because he's got his there and you have a different one. There's more than one of everything. Du hast sie doch nicht mehr alle. <laughs> ich weiß, was du gesehen hast. 
Ist eine Nacht im Wald. Du hast es mir erzählt. Dein zukünftiges Ich. Ich weiß, wie komplett irre sich das alles anhört. Ich habe selbst die längste Zeit gedacht, dass alles total verrückt ist. Wer bist du wirklich? Ich kann es dir zeigen. Wie alles zusammenhängt. And that is what will draw you two together. The fact that he believes you. But will this equipment work the same way? Okay, that works. Don't have enough power. Yeah. Can't keep it stable. Oh, it is. Build you. Oh, she's got plenty. I was going to say it seemed rather careless that she has such a portable device that she knew she was going to arrive here and only have that one left. No, that's to try and gain his trust. Yeah. She's going. Don't you have to take that thing with you? She be holding on to it. Or does it go? It transports with you, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. They'll just go back to the nursing home with a guard. It's not what it said. No. Well, when the heck are you? What? That's Where like before the forest set up. Where the hell have we gone? There's that signature music. No. Sie hat gesagt, dass ich dich hierher bringen soll. Das sie ist dir erklärt. Wer? Or Charlotte. I'm not sure which. No, it's you. That has got to be one of the most confusing episodes I think I've had since season one. I've no idea what time that future was. For all we know, it could be hundreds of years from now. I have no idea. I'm, yeah, I'm curious to know whether that future is based on multiple iterations of apocalypse. So it's an apocalypse event or whether we've gone that far ahead in the future that we've got to the age where the sun's starting to dry our planet out. That's what and I want to know. And the cycle is still repeating. Yeah, I yeah. want to know, is it natural or did we do it? I have no idea. And I'm trying to work out in my mind the the <laughs> the linear sequence as to what's just happened now Adam's here so right before the apocalypse back on our world on the original world we saw him jump into the machine didn't we yeah yeah he's, so he obviously he... went to 2053 because he knew what was coming uh I don't understand how he knows this martyr unless she arrived here and that's how he found out about the other world or he already knew about the other world and that's why she's here. I don't know. Well, I find it curious to see that um, old Not Marta is still a white haired, could be the white devil, because we both have working for the light and working for the dark. And through the first two seasons, we've been led to believe that this is Claudia, who yeah. is the white devil. I think it might be this, or it not could be Marta. Her. Yeah. Um, or oh, we've got two white devils, one in each world. No, no, I think she may have used her Claudia as uh, her agent. Maybe. On that world. Maybe. I but don't know. I liked the touch that now the cave system has let there be lights because she is a light cult as opposed to sick. Creators, which means when they, in 1888 with Tanhouse, when they've just murdered him now, that has changed 
for on this world because it would have said sick Mundus created so it's changed at that point because those three guys are the same guy whenever, yeah has just done what he's done it's purposely showed us that that it, it was it's got different inscription on the door it's purposely yeah. shown us that i like how in this different world they are literally shown reversal things like with charlotte and her husband it's he was the cheater before and she knew about it now it's the way around because it's entangled Ulrich into it yeah and i think that um her husband being a priest there when he's talking to that kid i think he's going he's the fact the kid left happy i think he's saying look you know what if that's the urges and things that you have it's not wrong you know it's you god made you the way you are or him You're discussing perfect. with him that he has the same urges and how to combat it or fight it or what it could be anything we don't know because it didn't show us the conversation no but the yeah. kid the kid left looking happy so yeah, I, I think it, it's you know yeah. he's saying look just because if that's a, you know my personal view and this is a if it's something you need to explore do it now before you're too late and you end up married like I do with kids and you end and up you're hurting. at a point where yeah. you can't express that side of things because you're going to hurt other people yeah yeah I just love this sh this show is so different pretty much to any show out there right now a lot of tv series because it's kind of taken over as mainstream from movies because we all have streaming services now that we have and a lot of them are starting to follow the same rules the same sort of direction the same editing the same filters the same look and because they know they can cater to the masses with that it's a winner for them and this show isn't frightened to have done something completely different the one thing that's missing in a lot of tv shows today is individual creativity and this show has it in abundance yeah i mean when you look at streaming services as a as a whole you have the ability now especially because people can binge it in one yeah. you're not relying on the audience having to remember you can put a show on like this and have no. it once a week you'd never keep up with it no, you, wouldn't. you have the ability to take a movie and stretch it out over 13 hours and get your point across and a lot of the the modern tv series I find are still being for, I don't know you're going on with the actual yeah. production design I find a lot of them though are very sort of lazy still when it comes to explaining away plot holes and plot devices and introducing something to purely go well I'm sure that's the way that they'll Just react to fit the story. and yeah. this isn't this is exploring not only themes that I wouldn't even put together in a show you know this is like lost meets fringe meets travelers all in one in a show Put it, but yeah. done in a way that none of the other shows have been very have been able to quite get it all clicked in together you know and let's face it when it comes to sci-fi there are so many movies tv series out there that have done stuff about time travel before but time travel shows are so easy to mess up to screw up to get wrong to leave so many holes they've had from the get-go here a defining um point they want to get across and a direction and a start and an end and you can see because of the way that it's playing out how well they've done this and the show just overall even i don't know if you notice but like because all of this show is about the characters and about the the suffering and the all the horrible things that they're going through every time you get someone on the screen it focuses completely on what that person is experiencing at that point it doesn't focus on everything else that's going on the long drawn out pauses and yeah. the silence the awkwardness of some of the scenes it's there purposely you'll get a scene where a character looks at the other person they're talking to and doesn't say a word for five six eight ten seconds 
that's the awkwardness of real that's life. Thinking that's thinking about what to that's say. That's thinking about yeah. it or, or shock value of it just being in your head rather than it being needing to show something visually to shock you. Yeah. That's why this show is so damn good. And because of it, it's that character development. You start to get drawn into the characters. You start to you actually do. care about each of the characters and the suffering that they're going through at that given moment that they're trying to show. It sucks you in in a way that a novel does. Yeah. This show, it's going to take a lot for another show to knock this off the top spot, as far as I'm concerned. I know this is the first German-produced Netflix series, but boy, have they absolutely nailed it. Or at least they the first have, one we've watched. They have, <laughs> they have nailed this. And more people need to watch this show. Really, more people need to watch this. And it's probably quite difficult for most people to try to get to recommend this to their friends or their family as to watch it because the German side of of uh, the audio will probably put some people off and it shouldn't it really shouldn't it's it's one of those shows though that you've got to I think a lot of the time now and this is I was discussing this on social media a lot of the times now people don't sit down and watch anything anymore I don't I'm guilty of it put it on in the background I, I put something on then I'll sit there and play on my phone we don't give something a whole 100% attention no. and this show will punish you if you look away from the screen for just a moment something will have been shown or something will have been said or something will have been remarked upon and you'll be like Oh, yeah. you know, three episodes later, it will come back to bite you in the bum. And I, I, I like that there's enough going on that it makes me not want to do anything else. I just want to sit down and watch the show. It makes you, it forces you to not take your eye off the screen. You know, it's, it's, it's making you watch intently because if you don't, it will purposely lose your attention and you will, you will walk away from it. Yeah. Because you're not under, you're not understanding hardly anything that's going on because you're not paying enough attention to it. But I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah. I, I look forward to this part of the week, every week, because you never know what's coming with this show. You never know what they're going to throw at you. And just when you are starting to just start thinking you, you're getting on top of what's going on, They'll throw something else out later. Pull the They've just out. done now, <laughs> showing us wherever that was in the future, whether that's another full cycle on ahead, another 99 years or 33. I have no idea. No. Not a clue. No. No clue. Anyway, um, we have waffled on for quite a bit, so <laughs> <laughs> we need to get going. Um, don't forget, this is the first of the two episodes for the week if you are watching on Patreon. If you're if watching this on YouTube, ignore that. Um, <laughs> But, however, the full version is available on Patreon for all of you to watch wherever it is you are currently viewing this right now. The link will be in the description. As always, you can go and check that out over there. There are obviously um, perks on Patreon for you to be able to get to watch it early. And we will be back on the next episode very soon, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Very much appreciated. Please post your comments down below. Give us all your theories. And if you want to discuss anything about the show that's a further point on than where we are, you can always sign up and go and look on my Discord. Use the spoiler tag, and that way you're not spoiling it for anyone else. Okay. Right. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notifications on. And we will see you for the next episode of Doc. Until then, guys, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Stay safe.